I'm Dr. Tom Lockmar. This is the uh, Geosciences Department at Utah State University's uh, Giddings. It's a single axle trailer mounted drilling rig. Uh, it's a hollow stem auger. Um, goes down a few tens of feet. I've had it a little over 30 for a maximum. We're going to drill 15 feet today. Uh, it runs on hydraulic fluid. It has a uh, air-cooled four-cylinder Wisconsin engine and all this engine does is drive has a belt that drives a pump a hydraulic fluid pump the hydraulic fluid is in this container here you can see the filter the radiator gets quite hot this is the starting battery uh, sometimes I haven't used it in a year sometimes you need to jump start it to get it going so this is the engine right over here so Tom the radiator cools the hydraulic fluid not the engine correct okay. it's an air-cooled engine all right so and the engine doesn't get as hot as the radiator fluid <laughs> when it's running if you want to come put your hand in here which I don't recommend it you'd, you'd be surprised how hot it gets from circulating under pressure this is the main intake so this is where the fluid comes into the uh, pump and then the pump is over here this is the pump here this is the intake and then these are the hoses where the fluid goes out to two different uh, two different directions there's the belt which has a um, protecting shield over it so you don't get in it this runs this is what's moving the engine is running and turning that uh, it's like a belt drive on a Harley Davidson motorcycle for example but a little bit bigger um, and this is about twice the displacement this is a four-cylinder engine you can see the two here there's two over there in a v-shape like this these are the controls this is the starting uh, uh, st the starting switch here it records hours um, and then it has something else going on here electrical something this is the throttle speed it up this is the choke when you start it you want to choke it and then once it gets going you push the choke back in this is the main uh, switch for the hydraulic fluid there, you notice there's two hoses and right now I'm trying to think which it is uh, right now it's it's on so it will only run the two jacks on either side so we'll get it level that's the first thing we'll do once we do that we push it in and everything else that runs on hydraulic fluid this will be in for the rest of the day. Uh, this is the mast. This is the uh, rotary head. And this goes up and down the mast. There's a piston in here, a hydraulic piston that raises and lowers this. And these are the controls for that. This is up or down with the rotary head. This is forward or reverse for the rotary head. So that's what these two control knobs are. If you want to follow me over on this side. Uh, this one here raises and lowers the mast and this one uh, raises and lowers the foot so once you get the mast up you lower the foot so that it's pushing on the ground on the driver's side of the rig is this long toolbox right down to here uh, this is where all the equipment is stored other than the the uh, drill rods and the shovel which are stored underneath
that it? Foot, right there. No, just right where the right where the raised numbers are. Okay, it's right there. Yep. Yeah, right, there. right right to there. Okay? Seven and three quarters. Well, it, the, the hundreds are marked with little ticks. It looks like oh, about seven point seven eight. Seven point seven. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 